Hey ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video. I hope this video finds you well. Thank you so much for joining me. And today in this video, I want to take the opportunity to talk to you about three fragrance hacks. These are things that you can use almost immediately, some of these within the week if you need to make a purchase or whatnot. But um, before I get into the list, I just want to remind my viewers at home, please don't forget to subscribe to this channel. This way, whenever I do upload new content, it will get delivered straight to your feed and you never need to worry about missing any videos or having to search anything up because it's right there delivered straight to your feed. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so let's get into the three fragrance hacks. So the first one I, t I want to talk about um, deals with the application of perfume. And I know recently you've been hearing a lot of buzz about the reformulation of certain scents and you've been hearing about people buying fragrances that don't last a long time on their skin. And uh, people usually know how to divert this. They know how to dodge this. They know how to avoid this. But I want to share um, a little tip for those of you who are still having a hard time with projection and longevity from your fragrances. My recommendation would be before you uh, spray or apply the fragrance, you want to put on a little bit of unscented lotion. Now it's key that it's unscented because you don't want the scent to clash with your fragrance. So you're going to wear a little bit of unscented lotion and then you want to spray the fragrance right on top of it. And the moisture from the lotion will trap the oils and the aromatic uh, compounds, the oils, and it will make your fragrance last up to, I want to say about maybe half as long, more than half as long. So if the fragrance is, um, if it normally lasts you about six hours, you can expect to get up to nine hours longevity from that fragrance. So it, it's not going to um, make the longevity astronomical or beast mode or anything, but it will get the job done and I think it's really cool. So what I use is actually a product by a company called Note Fragrances. And this one is called Shea Butter Body Cream. And you can essentially apply it anywhere on your body. I like to do it on my arms. And you could even put a, a little bit on your neck and then apply the fragrance. What you can do too is you can apply the fragrance, wait a couple minutes, and then spray on the same area again. And what I think it'll do is kind of like when you prime a wall before you paint it. I almost view it as a primer before you put on the paint. And then if you want to put on several coats, I have a feeling it'll last longer. Some people are a little more conservative with their spray so you might not want to do that but this is a pretty cool fix if you are looking to increase the longevity on your perfume all right the second tip that I want to give you the second hack that I want to share with you is um, it's something involving an air diffuser or an oil diffuser excuse me and I have one here it's by a company called Aiho and if you're interested I'm gonna leave all the information down below to where you can check this out as well as the first product that I mentioned but um, these are meant to be used with essential oils. So I have a few here in front of me. I got them from this website, New Directions Aromatics, and they're really inexpensive. So I have lemon here, I have clove here, I have lavender here, and some of these are stupid cheap. They're like really, really inexpensive. Lemon, any citrus for that matter, is going to be pretty cheap. The lavender was also really, really cheap too. And what happens is they give you a measuring cup and you want to, you know, basically fill this up with water. It could be tap water. It could be from your sink, whatever. And you pour it into the uh, oil diffuser. This one holds about 500 milliliters worth of water. So you pour it up to the fill line. You drop a few oils in there. And then when you're done, you turn it on. And the cool thing about this is that you can set a timer on it. So if you only want it to be on, say, for six hours, you can set the timer on it. It also changes colors. It goes from green to blue. It has seven different colors, whatever. And it's a really cool product because it will essentially fill up your entire house. I was surprised because I used an oil diffuser and then I went to the bathroom and two minutes later I emerged from the bathroom and I was able to smell it in my hallway which is a good length away from my living room and I'm thinking to myself, wow, this reached out to my hallway and almost into my second bedroom. So this does cover a lot of ground. Um, so it's a cool product, but here's the hack. If you don't want to use oils, you could use your fragrance. So. Um, Say for some reason, I would never recommend this, uh, recommend using this fragrance, but say you wanted to spray Duro by Nasumato, you can do about five sprays. I notice you don't really have to do more than five. You could if you want to. I didn't use Duro by Nasumato. I actually used uh, Polo Red Intense on mine. You do a few sprays before you turn it on and the whole house will smell like that fragrance. So it is a hack. Um, it will uh, sort of diffuse the oils and the alcohol in the perfume and it will work just as if you were using one of these oils. It's 
actually a really, really cool hack because I know oftentimes we run into fragrances where we're like, you know, I love the way this smells, but I would prefer to smell this in like an air freshener or I would prefer to smell this in a candle. I don't want to smell it. I don't want to wear it. So uh, for a lot of those fragrances, if you do have one of those fragrances, you can always use it here. And the pros of using this versus a candle is that it's paraben free. And um, I know there are some studies online saying that uh, candles, depending on how it's made, they could be carcinogenic. And that got me a little frightened nonetheless. But um, anyways, I have been using this. It's a really, really good product. Again, I'm going to leave all the information down below if you are interested in checking it out. And I think it goes for like 38 or $39. It is on the inexpensive side. It's really powerful. It works really well. It fills up your whole house in 500 milliliters worth of water. That's a lot. And it will last you for like a couple days without you having to replace the oils or put in new fragrance. By the way, if you are going to use it with essential oils, um, I could do anywhere between 10 to 20 drops and it will fill up your entire house. It's really cool. And the third hack that I want to share with you guys, is not as much of a hack as it is a piece of advice. And uh, I think everyone ought to know this, but um, here I have a few of my favorite fragrances. This one is by Zerzhov, and it's part of the Oud Stars line, and it's called Mamluk. And this is a really expensive fragrance. It's upwards of like $300. Now, if you take a look at this fragrance, you take a look at the level of the juice inside, it looks like it's about, I don't know, 35% full or something like that. What happens once you flip it upside down? It looks like it's what, 10% full, 15% full? Not Certainly not as much as it looks like when you hold it upright like this. So oftentimes I see people selling fragrances like this online and that's the picture they'll post. Here's the fragrance, this is how much I'm charging for it. The best way to get a really good prediction of how much juice is in there is to hold it so that it's symmetrical that's going to give you a good um, assessment of how much juice is left in there. Please do not, you know, cough up money because it's, it's happened with me. I remember I bought um, a used Nasamato scent and the seller said, yeah, there's about 30% left in there. And then as soon as you flip it upside down, it looks like there's 10% left in there. And I said, what did I pay for? So listen, I don't want you guys to be conned. I don't want you guys to be scammed. Here's another one, a Duro by Nasamato. If you look at my bottle, it looks like it's about 60, 65% full. The moment you turn it upside down though, it looks like, let me hold it at a better angle so you can see. It looks like it's uh, about 50% full, right? That's 15% fewer than this, all right? So once again, with a bottle like this, you wanna hold it on the side so that it's symmetrical and look, there you have the happy medium. It actually looks more like 50% full. So it's just a, a quick tip that I wanted to share with you guys. I know. To some of you, it's going to be like, well, this is common sense. I know that. But um, I got scammed by it. Um, I see other people posting bottles that um, are not taken from a symmetrical angle. And it makes it look as though there's more in there than there actually is. And I just don't want anybody to fall for it. So there you go, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. These are my three hacks. I hope you enjoyed it. If you'd like to see more videos like these, leave a comment down below. And if you're looking forward to purchasing any of these products, I'm also going to leave a link down below to that as well. And uh, guys, please don't forget to subscribe for future videos, top tens, giveaways, unboxings, and a lot of other fragrance-related content. So remember, I smell well so you can smell good. And we'll see you in the next episode. Take care.